hello everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome to my Halloween card series this year. I am going to be showcasing some products from Whimsy Stamps in this one. They have a brand new batty die set, and look at these bats with their crazy eyes. I just fell in love with them. They're different sizes. You can color them any color you want. I did some red, green, purple, and black eyes for these bats, but I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to decorate up these bats and turn them into cards. I'm going to be using some Distress ink and some Distress spray, and I've already sprayed one of these sheets of paper with that mica spray after I colored it with the Distress ink. And now I'm gonna color up another one just a little bit lighter. And with this mica spray, this is the empty tomb mica spray. With this mica spray, you need to make sure you shake it up really good and you don't really need a lot. So this one I wanted to be lighter than the first one that I did. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry as I cut out this really cool slimline graveyard. It's called the Decrepit Grave and it is so cool. There's lots of layers. There's even more layers than what I'm using on this card today so you'll definitely want to check that out but today I just wanted to feature those bats and so when I'm building up this background for the grave I didn't worry too much about creating a lot of dimension with those layers because the bats were going to cover a lot of it I am building up the skeleton and the bones that came in that die set and I'm building them up with three layers and then the rest of it, I just built up a couple of layers. Now you'll see that a little better as we get to it, but first I want to ink blend this background, and one of my favorite Halloween ink blends is a light green, and then a darker green, and even a darker green, and maybe even a little black. I think green and Halloween really go together. It reminds me a little bit of slime, maybe some zombies. And this combination of green really makes it look like it's glowing, kind of like eerie. So I love this combination. I'm just gonna keep building up these colors, creating them a little darker and testing them out with that slimline grave dye to see how I like it. So as I put this together, I'm making it just so that light green peeks out around the edge of the grave, and then it's darker around all of the rest. So you can see there's an RIP, rest in peace, in this grave as well, and I just put that on. And now I'm just gonna test this out, adding a little darker around some of the areas. I like that. That looks really, really cool. And now it's time to add the bats in different spaces. I decided to create it where the largest bat is near the bottom, so he looks like he's the closest to you. And then the smallest bats are further away at the top. But before I attach those, I wanna be sure to add my sentiment. And the sentiment I'm using today is from another brand new stamp set. It says, let's get spooky. And it's from the Boo Ghost stamp set. And so I'm just gonna white heat emboss that with some white embossing powder. So I'll use my Versamark sticky ink. And I wanted to make sure that that ink and the background was fully dry before doing this part. So I did test that first to make sure it was dry and the embossing powder didn't stick all over. So that's one thing I always recommend, make sure your ink's dry <laughs> before heat embossing. So I added that white embossing powder and then heat set that and melted it with my heat tool. And I've got some extra bat eyes from when I cut out all these bats and I thought it looked really cool to have some peeking around the background. So I added those as well. And I'm going to pop the bats up using some foam dots. So they are actually popped up just a little bit from this background. I'll add it to my card base, and I've also added some extra skeleton skulls and bones at the bottom of the scene here. So there is our first card with these cute bats. And for this card, I just cut the bats out of black cardstock, so it's just that simple. And black bats are traditional Halloween 
So I love that. But let's get started with the next one because most of the bats that I see are actually brown. And out here in Arizona, we do have bats. In fact, one of them got stuck between my screen and my sliding glass door once. That did cause a little bit of terror on my part. <laughs> so I do think bats are really great and spooky for Halloween. Now I started coloring up this drippy frame dye using some YG03 ink with the chisel, chisel nib of my Copic, but I found that I was running out of ink. So I'm really quick gonna refill a little bit of this. I'll spend some time and refill it more later, but for now, just to have this for coloring, I quickly added a little bit and look how much better that is. <laughs> it makes a difference when your markers are not dry and ready to go. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more going around and around. Now this I kept in the cardstock because I find it's easier to keep a die in place when it's inside the cardstock. And if you have that option, it's really great to do. And for those drips, I wanted to add a little more spookiness, I guess. <laughs> so I'm taking a darker color, YG09, and I'm going to add some shadows to the left side of each of the drips. Basically, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to blend those again out with the YG03 and the YG05 a little bit. That's gonna give it more of a dimensional look as well. And like there's some shadows, like these are kind of 3D drips. It's really a cool look. I started out thinking I was gonna color these drips with purple, but then I thought it might just look like grape jelly. <laughs> And I don't know, grape jelly bats sounded kind of weird to me. So that's why I stuck with this green, and this is kind of a slime green. I think it's a really great color combination for Halloween cards. So as I finish blending those out a little bit, I'm just going to keep adding more color until it looks the way that I want it to, just a little extra dimensional. This is such an easy way to add a little extra something to your cards. Hopefully you'll give it a try. As you can see, I just had a really great time with this. I really, really did. And then I thought, okay, so we're gonna add some Copics to these bats and create more of a brown bat this time. So that's how we started. As I cut the next bats, you're gonna see, I started out with some Nina Desert Storm paper to cut those bats. So it's kind of a craft cardstock. There's those drips. And I'm also going to use this Eek word die and shadow because I just think, I, I don't know, I think that might be one of my absolute favorite, favorite Halloween dies. Let's get started coloring those bats. I've taken those Nina Desert Storm bats and now I'm adding some of my favorite Copic markers. It's the E55, E53, and E51 markers. I also am gonna add some E57 here for a little darker look on some of them. You can see some will be darker, some will be lighter. And I'm just gonna blend those through. And I'm adding a little extra line where those bat wings kind of come together. You can see where they fold. The extra line is gonna go there. And I'm just gonna blend these out sort of into the Desert Storm paper. That's gonna create a really cool look for these bats. I really kind of like how these turned out. And I'm not gonna color all of these on screen because this did take me a little more time than obviously just cutting them out of a black cardstock, but I do love the effect. So once I got all of those colored, I added the different eyes, and this time I just did black eye eyeballs. And it's really easy to do. There's a couple different layers. So you cut one out of black and one out of white and layer those together. And now I'm using the die cut and taping off one of the bats so I can add some light purple ink blending. So these are like bats that are kind of in the shadows. It gives you the effect that there are more bats than there are actually coming out of this slimy cave. That's what I'm imagining it to be anyway. So I am gonna tape off a different one here and do an, another at the top. You can add as many or as little as you want to this background. I just thought it was a really cool look and something super easy because I had already cut those bats out so I had this like paper that was could be used as a stencil. So really, really fun. 
So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add that slime. Now you can build this up into layers if you want. I just used one layer this time because I felt like those bats were going to be coming out dimensional already. Then I've got a dark piece of purple cardstock that I'm going to layer that all on top of and add that to the card base. For that eek sentiment, by the way, I cut the eek out of some green glitter paper and then I added it to a cream shadow and then I also added it to a purple shadow. So there are two different shadow layers for this eek die, which is really awesome. So there we go, I'm gonna add that there and then I'm just going to add the bats along the way. I found that only really three of them fit perfectly on this card. You could add more certainly if you want, but I already had those purple shadows in the background and I thought it looked really cool just like that with those three. So I'm going to glue those down, leaving the tips of, their bat, of the bat wings free floating so that I could bend those upwards just a little bit. And then I thought it needed one more thing. So uh, yes, again, I'm going to add some extra eyes that I had left cut out from my die cut session of the bats. And I'm gonna add those little extra black eyes all around. And it's gonna look like you've got some more bats even looking at you or something creepy, <laughs> right? Back there looking at you. So there's our card for today or two cards for today using the new Batty Dies die set from Whimsy Stamps. I hope you enjoyed this, my first Halloween video of the year. I really had a fun time creating these different looking bats and I think it's a really fun challenge to challenge yourself to create different looks with the same die cut. Then you get more bang for your buck and I just love that. I'm gonna be sharing a few more Halloween cards this season. Be sure to check out the links below as I'll have everything listed and linked for you as well as my blog post for this. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.